One is, I think that independent education is changing hugely. Um, I get a sense that with the movement of private equity into school ownership, you're getting a very different approach. And the fact that there are some parts of the country where you do not have enough schools to meet the demands and other parts of the country where there are not enough pupils in a position or whose parents are not in a position to meet the fees, and so you have schools that are becoming free schools, I think it is difficult now to characterize or use the old labels. And so I think if you're geographically attached to an area, then you need to sort of almost tear up the rule book um, or tear up an old rule book and be using school guides and local um, uh, knowledge and also visiting to say, well, if this weren't an HMC school or whatever sc branded school, would I still be happy? Or is, when you go through the doors of an HMC school, um, so a headmasters and headmistresses conference school, do you feel that it actually lives up to your expectations? Um, because within uh, HMC, which has got 270 schools, um, 15 of which are all girls' schools which are just joined, I mean, that's already um, a, a significant difference. And then secondly, how are the schools run or governed? Are they charitable institutions with a strong um, move towards uh, meeting their public benefit willingly, or are they effectively commercial enterprises which are very customer orientated and willing to move with the times so if they find people are all coming in and wanting to do something different, they'll start to do things differently. So I, I would encourage a bit more open-mindedness, and while I, under I don't mean that anybody here is closed, but the shorthands that we have used in the past, I don't think are going to continue to work over the next 10 years.